Oh, crud. Good evening, everyone. He is risen. That he has. Welcome to... He's coming back soon. Yep. Welcome to Gaming Scripture and Commentary, where we play games, talk about Jesus and his word, and anything else that happens to come up. I am Ken, a.k.a. Kenneth, and it's my good friend Norman. Howdy. Welcome to this episode of Upstairs, Champions Online, and the Gospel of John. We are Christians and gamers, putting those two things together, worshiping our risen Savior, reading from God's Word, and gaming. Of course, the intro we just did was touched by Fleetwood Mac, and it actually was not as, uh, I don't know, awe-inspiring as last week's ZZ Top with a sharp dust man, or before that, legs, so we'll try something different next week. Anyways, first, we'll start with a prayer. Um, dear Almighty God, please bless this endeavor. Let us serve you by sharing with others. Thank you so much, Jesus, for dying on the cross for our sins and proving you are the Son of God by his resurrection, by being here, talking to us, and loving us, and, and showing us, even though you didn't have to, all that you are, becoming a sacrificial lamb that dies for us and that we can be, be with you forever. Help us to continue to grow in our understanding and knowledge of you and to share your word with others so they can be encouraged and grow and if anyone doesn't know you, please let them come to a relationship with you. In Jesus' great and glorious name we pray. Amen. Amen. As I said, we're still in the Gospel of John. And tonight, chapter 12, 20, 20 through 27. Oh, I forgot the title of this, you know. A Fruitful Grain of Wheat. So, if you're ready to follow along, go ahead and get your Bible out, whether it's the old-fashioned kind. Or it's an app on your phone or tablet or PC or website, such as BibleGateway.com or Bible.com or Blue Letter Bible. So, yeah, so we're still walking through the Gospel of John. We're doing a new King James Version. This is the, this is the Tuesday after the defeat of the wonderful and best team in football, <laughs> Seattle Seahawks. Losing to those, as one person called them, the deflator, the deflatriots. <laughs> mm. well. Where'd you go? I see your arrow, but I can't find you. Oh, over there. Never know. Opposite direction. I can't. Waiting for people to open their Bibles up and then I'll start reading. Oh man, where'd you go? I am lost. I am lost, but I'm not found yet. Right. Anyways, okay, so. Well, uh, Norman takes care of cleaning up the mess here, all these bones. Um, the fruitful grain of wheat. Last week, you may recall that we were talking about the triumphal entry when Jesus entered the city of Jerusalem. This is ahead of his actual trial and crucifixion and resurrection. He came in as the triumphant savior, the Messiah. Everyone thought he was coming in as the king to be the definite heir to David and he would overthrow the Romans. That's not what he came to do for, but anyways. So now there were certain Greeks among those who came to worship at the feast. Then they came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida of Galilee, and asked him, saying, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip came and told Andrew, and in turn Andrew and Philip told Jesus. But Jesus answered them, saying, The hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Most assuredly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces as much grain. He who loves his life will lose it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, let them follow me. And where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, him, my father, will honor. So, I mean, we all know that grain of, uh, 
a grain of wheat, like a seed, looks pretty dead. You know, once you put it in the ground and plant it in water, it grows. This is wonderful crops. You know, I, interesting. Interesting. They they came. They came. The Greeks came to Philip, and Philip went to Andrew, and they both went to Jesus. That these people want to see. They want to see Jesus. You know, I mean, I we don't know if it's because they are like. Hey, we're Greeks, not Jews, and therefore you don't really come to us. Or they wanted to see a miracle, or they were like maybe they were Jews who or, or wanted to believe and follow him. But it's interesting how Jesus answered them. Not it's like they said, "I wish to see Jesus," and he answered them, "The hour has come; that the Son of Man should be glorified." So he's predicting his his eventual um, death. I'm not sure I say to you, "Let's agree we." So his death it will be the wheat that falls in the ground. His death, you know, will produce much grain. But then he goes, he, he said, he, he who loves his life will lose it. And he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Don't be, in other words, don't love the world you have. You'll be disappointed, like me, be disappointed in the Seahawks losing on Sunday, right? <laughs> it's a reminder of the fact that um, there's more to this life. I mean, I, I knew this. I mean, I'm coming out of the out of the game and on Monday I'm like you know just feeling this this pain right this this sorrow I'm like this is nothing the people out there who have much more pain and sorrow than I do so that Seahawks lost this is a game not a big deal right you know God's not gonna I, I didn't even pray at first about God taking this pain from me because I'm like this is not not worthy of God taking the pain from me because it's not this world oh. yeah. I did eventually ask God to take the pain from me and I felt better right but it's just that it's just one of the things a reminder of the fact that you know he who loves his life you know, loves his car, loves his house, loves his Seahawks, loves his computer, loves his video game, you know, loves whatever, you know, my, I'm going to lose it, because one day we're going to die and be gone. And so you're, you're just not going to have it. And almost like if you're willing to give up your life up now, and don't worry about those things, right, you're going to have eternal life afterwards, which is much more precious. So we, we who are here on earth, don't just give up, and just like, okay, fine, I'm just going to do nothing, and I'll wait till God to kill me, or I die, and then therefore... I'll be eternal life. No, just make sure your frame of, frame of mind, frame of reference is based upon God's glory, and not on your own. On God's God's presence, God's future, God's plans, God's whatever, not on our own. Okay. I mean, I I don't believe that God chooses uh, which team wins. I do think that He helps each player who asks for His support will do the play the best they can. Doesn't mean they won't, won't, won't make mistakes. I mean, Russell Wilson is a good example. He's a devout Christian. Okay, you know, it makes it makes it very apparent of what his beliefs are. And he threw an interception. So guess what? There's a there's a man of God who made a mistake. So it's not like. But again, you can argue maybe the guy Butler, the Patriots uh, quarterback, may have been a man of God too. I don't know if he is or not. Right? He prayed to do the job of him. And guess what? God glorified him, or at least he thought he did by virtue of getting the interception. That's why I don't think God picks and chooses games, right? But the biggest thing is not to worry about what's on this life. You know, that's why, you know, um, Russell Wilson following the game, he posted on his uh, Facebook a nice little nice, nice little blurb because of he, he's reminding us, and, well, not just us, but himself, and everybody included, you might say, right, what is truly important, you know? So he, he, he posted on his Facebook... Thank you, God, for the opportunity. We'll be back. I will never waver on who he has called me to be. Thanks, 12s. Go Hawks. So there's a man, I think, who was trying very hard to make sure that he he, he follows the admonition of Jesus to to not love his life, but to hate his life, and you know, and to, and to, so he have eternal life. You know? If anyone serves me, let them follow me. And where I am, then my servant will also be. Also be. If anyone serves me, him my father will honor. So we who serve God, serve Jesus, hope you know, the plan is that, that all, the Father will honor us. Any comments? No, that. No, anything I said? Well. Go ahead. Okay. What? Well, it is uh, your opening prayer. My opening prayer. Oh, yes. okay. I have always taken it as the resurrection is the proof that the debt has been paid, not the proof that he is the Son of God. Okay, well, I've, I've been saying this for a while now. Why don't you say this sooner? 
Yeah, I noticed it last time, and I thought, oh, I should say something, and then we got off onto something well, else. Well, I mean, one of the things that, I mean, there's lots of things that prove Jesus is the Son of God, okay? Mm -hmm. But, I mean, the ultimate, and that's why Paul said, right? Without the resurrection, our faith is nothing, okay? It's just, you know. The resurrection is the capstone, it's the finality, it's the thing that really proves everything that you just say, all the proof of his sacrifice, his death, and his life was, was that's like, it's the, it's the capstone, I say, you know. That's why he was sent, was for his death and resurrection, to pay the bill. Well, I can, I'll be work, I'll be work, reword the prayer then, you know. I want to also point out, you know, Russell Wilson today, as he does every Tuesday, he goes to Children's Museum, well, not Children's Museum, Children's Hospital, and he posted pictures on his Facebook of people he he was there with. I'm sure they all like gave him hugs and kisses, and you know, probably said, "Well, sorry you lost, right?" But but there was also a uh, someone, a friend of his, I guess, you know, posted a a uh, a poem. I say, okay, Russell said, "Thank you to a good friend for passing this inspirational message along." Twelve, share this with your friends and loved ones if you are already focusing on next season. Pound, don't quit. So here's the here's the thing. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the depths are high and you are one to smile but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a fellow turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You may succeed when, with another blow. Often the goal is nearer than it seems to faint and faltering man. Often the struggler has given up when he might have captured the victor's cup. And he learned too late when the night came down how close he was to the golden crown. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint in the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It might be near when it seems afar. So stick it. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. When things seem, when things seem worse, that you must not quit. Hmm. That's a nice, nice little poem. Anyways, okay. Any you guys, have any thoughts or comments or questions or anything you want to talk about? If you have any other discussions, if you agree or disagree with Norman's uh, criticism of my prayer, that's fine. If you or not. <laughs> not trying to call you out or anything, you know. Uh, post it in the comments below. Generally, you probably watch this on YouTube. And uh, let, us, let us know. And let's double check right now our YouTube discussion board. See if we have anything there. And we don't. All right. All right. Okay. Back to the game we go. All right. So now we did that. Let us see what other endeavors are in this town. So we did that one. Okay, do we do this one? Demonic Fandango. <gasps> Demonic Fandango. Follow. Follow the blue arrow. Nobody's on our Twitch right now watching us. Huh. Where are you going? Oh. I'm following the blue arrow. You turned around. You finally turned around in the right direction. This looks like another either a door or a manhole cover we gotta go through. Wait, what's this? What's this? Uh, there's probably somebody to talk to. Sammy Croy. Watch out, that Sammy Croy guy. Hey, can you help me? I lost my dollies. I would like to have them because they're the only dolls that play back. They do all kinds of neat magical stuff. Mom doesn't believe me, but I know they do it. Anyway, I don't know where they've gone. They could be anywhere in Fibora Bay. They're really smart like that. So can you help me? This is a perk collection mission. You get a perk. I mean, let's do this one. Then. Oh, how many? Where's it at? Let's see. You got it? Mm hmm? Get the quest? Yeah. Okay, we'll do it next. We'll do this first. Other one first. One close by. Number nine. Oops. Oh, you don't want to get the dollies? Well, it's a little right here. Why not? Okay. Basically, we are... Right here. Manhole cover. Manhole. Everything's underground, you know? 
I'm getting tired of all this underground warfare. You know? I don't think the dollies are underground. No, they're not. But you wanted to go on this yeah. mission. Yeah, I did. I, no, because I don't the dolly ones is probably a little more around about, you know. So, so be delighted with what you've got. So, did you watch the uh, you watch the, you watch the Super Bowl commercials, right? I watched most of them. Do you see the one with the Brady Bunch in the stickers bar? Yep. Apparently, I guess that's not a cut and, cut from the show. Okay. <laughs> Maybe look at the show, right? But they actually put real people in a, in the thing, and they put, and they kind of overlaid the face of the two, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, I was watching. I mean, I didn't realize that until uh, Gizmodo was showing. You know, it says oh. one of the more memorable moments from the last Super Bowl, at least before the end of the fourth quarter, uh, was the latest stickers I had that co-opted the Brady Bunch to selling candy bars. But if you thought the ad just used some clever editing and dubbing over an FX guy, they have a thorough, thorough breakdown of the complex visual effects needed to change what the characters were saying. There's no footage from the TV series. I don't know. It seemed like the football one where whatever her name is, Janet, Jan is, got hit by the football. That was the comment. I know. That was. Uh, I think they're wrong. A shady guy. What do you mean, what wrong? I think they edited it in. Where, where are you at? Where are you at? I'm in this room fighting this giant lady or guy. I'm not oh, sure who she is. Sorry, I didn't realize you were. That wants to go out right back. That's why she's barking. She's by the back door here. I went out. I went out. Let me out. Huh. I gotta wait for her to come back. Wait till she barks. Meantime, dump some kitty litter. Kitty litter box. They show like pictures of these two actors, you know, dressed in the same outfits as you know the Brady's, and they show how they overdubbed the face of the two. Oops, cred. Overlaid on them, you know, um, two actors from the original show. Uh, I watched the whole video. I just. I saw the. Well, I tell you, you know, for anybody else who's a bit who's uh, watched Super Bowl, the commercials just, to me, sucked. You know, they were not memorable. They weren't. They were like just, I don't know, pathetic in some respects. You know, especially the that nationwide commercial. You know, oh. that became a meme. A lot of people were putting memes out there. You know, uh, was it one of the memes was like. I would have, I wouldn't have called for that play, but I died, you know. Or it's people are going, I would have done this, but I died. It's just like over and over again, you know, different mean. So, mm. not to mention some of the things that basically are like, you know, hey, you know, you should. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not denying the that fact that, that yeah, dad should be spending lives with their kids, not waiting to the last minute, so they finally win their big race, right? Then all of a sudden they're gonna hang out with the kids, you know. That one Pizza commercial. Yeah. But the way the way that they play it out, you know, it's like kind of sad, you know. At the end, I'm going, "What? This is a, I go, "What? This is a Nissan commercial?" You almost get the impression that they were trying to tell us something. They're like, "Hey, we're going to how you show you how you live, should live your life," you know. Yeah, it's a rescue hero.
Yeah, the morning guy I listened to didn't like that. The morning guy. Uh, I don't remember his name. Cats in the Cradle one is the one that he disliked. That was the Destiny Sun commercial, yeah. Yeah. He said that they're trying to make people feel guilty for going to work and getting money for their families. So that's the thing, right? I mean, on one level, well, he, he, I was hit. I mean, you're right. For those who actually do have a job, so to speak, right? It shouldn't have been a guilt trip, right? That guy was like, "Hey, I'm my my goal is to win a big race, you know, and I'm not gonna be my my family, you know." Yep. That's. I mean, you can say, well. There's a point of trying to go for your goal and not at the expense of your family, you know? Huh. I mean, there was some. There was like the, there was, I thought one of the funny ones was. Uh, Kind of a cool one with the Pierce Brosnan with the, you know. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good too. And the the the, the, the to me the letdown the Taurus and the hair one like really, this was all for Mercedes Benz. Some of the pre commercials are pretty funny. They had one where Jerry Rice, you know Jerry Rice is. Yeah. Jerry Rice was in a commercial with like ten year old kid, right? And you're saying, so who are you particularly going to win, right? And the guy's, oh, the rabbit's going to win. No, it's not a rabbit, it's a hare. So it doesn't matter. He says, wait, if you're going to be, if you're going to debate the greatest receiver of, wide receiver of all time, you're prepared. And the kid's like, what? You're Odell Beckman? Who's a rookie this year, you know? Yeah. That was, that was funny, okay? That's a commercial with the whole rabbit and the hare thing? Yeah, whatever. I was unimpressed. Even the, even the Dorito commercial wasn't Was that the one that he was going to get with the girl until he found that she had a, a kid? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right, you in the plane. That's the one, you know. It was okay, but it's like, really? Oh, my gosh. I mean, I get the point, right? But... I just, yeah, I just, you know, it was just lousy this year, you know? Alright. Apparently, uh, Radio Shack is probably at the end of their life. Really? But, Oh, what's his name? Uh, Sprint might buy up some of their stores and then, you know, but it's probably the end of their road. You know, think about it, right? It probably has run its time, you know? Uh, I like Radio Shack. A brief history of Star Wars canon, old and new. Hmm. Hmm. Listen to their... When a franchise is around for four decades, it can get possibly unwilling to try and grasp its lore. Well... Alright, so let's go Sammy's Lost Dolly, which has no arrow! No arrow. Okay. So, April. Wait, defeat and recover April. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. There's no. There's no. There's no. It's everywhere. Wow. It's everywhere, anywhere. So let's go to the. Let's just go to the next one then. Well, let's take a look at the big map. What? I guess I'm thinking the big map. I was looking at it just now. I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to go to number... Dog Days Afternoons. There you go. Follow the arrow. You're in these wait, arrows. I wonder... Wait, wait, where were we at? She was over here, right? She was over yeah. here. So maybe it's around here. Let's try to kill Probably. Somebody's. But I'm heading for the number one, following the blue arrow. I'm not killing these guys now. But now you want to fight the other guys. Right there, right there. 
death are given. And nothing to pick up. Alright, never mind. Follow the number one arrow bill. So what do we do on this? Oh, we have to defeat 150 dogs. Somewhere. Dogs. We've done 33 so far, so maybe this would kill some dollies then, you know? Oh, I seven. got three. I got four. Oh, and it looks like it's independent because I didn't get credit for your kills. Yeah, I got 37. How many you have? I have three. No, total. Three. Oh, I have 38. Interesting. Take item. Intelligent boots. I don't care about that. The arrow over there. there. Oh, and the reason I have only uh, four and soon to have five is because you just gave it to me and you were building on it. I was. Oh. Oh! The whole With all of our kills yeah, before. Kills. Yep. Oh, sorry about that. I'm a bit behind. But it won't, shouldn't take too long. Dang it, dog just flew up in the air at me, you know? It can jump very good. Well, then it froze in midair, you know what I'm saying? You must remember this. A wish. No. A kiss. It is a kiss. I guess apparently, Sai Live did an alternate ending to Casablanca. I hadn't seen it though. It probably wasn't very good. You must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss. A smile is just a, a smile. sigh. Is just a sigh. Oh, sigh is a sigh. Really, all the time yep. it was a smile. The fundamental things apply. The fundamental things apply. As time I goes go by. by. And when to. And when to love me. They dance in cheek to cheek. Oh, is that right? What? Hang on, like a time. You're not. You don't really know this song, do you? goes by oops by lyrics L Y Song by Frank Sinatra? Yeah he used to write songs. He wrote this? I do believe that that is true. You must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. A sigh is still just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. I know you wrote the song. I'm shocked. And when two lovers woo, they still say I love you. On that you can rely. No matter what the future brings, as time goes by interesting I am just I'm just flabbergasted first of all I didn't really know he was a songwriter okay I never really thought about him as a songwriter you know hey, you just think he's a no talent bum he's a no talent bum uh, but those you still love etc all these years you know well I'm at 25 now I'm at 62 when do you write this, though? When did 
Sinatra Sinatra record I'll write time goes by wait oh wait it's, no it's a song written by Herman Hupfield in 31 Sinatra first recorded it between 39 and 52 oh there you go Oh, I'll see. The you know, Wikipedia for this page for this song, you know. Yeah. That wasn't not he just sang it, okay? It became the most famous in nineteen forty two when sung by character Sam in the movie Casablanca. The song was voted number two in the AFI Wonder Year Wonder Song Special coming in the best songs in film. It has been used as a fanfare for Warner Brothers pictures since nineteen ninety nine. And well, that's right, it is. And it was the title and theme song of the nineteen sixties British comedy series A Time Goes By. That's right. He wrote it in 31 for the Broadway musical Everybody's Welcome. In the original yeah. show, it was sung by Francis Williams. It was recorded that year by several artists, including Rudy Valley and Benny Hale, as well as orchestra recordings by Jacques Renard and Fred Rich. In terms of popularity at the time, it was a modest hit. The song, yeah. was, the song was re-recorded in 1942 for Casablanca. Wilson was unable to record... This, his version of the song at the time due to the 1942-44 musician strike leading Brunswick to res, reissue the Jacques Renard for, oh, recording as well as better re-release re Bally's recording giving Bally number one hit in 1942. The famous opening line you must remember this is actually the start of the chorus as the song was originally written and performed. Most of them did not, did not sing the preceding verse in Casablanca however and most subsequent recordings have followed the film's lead in omitting it, leading to its being virtually unknown to most listeners. Wow. Okay. I thought Frank Sinatra was partnered with that writer. Herman Hubbard well. film? Well, let's take a look. Herman was born in New Jersey. Uh, Maybe I'm getting another uh, song mixed in there. He never married. He never married? He stayed Terrible. in his hometown, Monkton, New Jersey, for his entire life. Doesn't give a year he died. Oh, died in 51. Hmm. Okay, sorry. I don't get any chance to catch up, you know? I'm to 69 now. Where you at? Uh, I'm on the street. No, how many people? Oh, 47. <laughs> That's so funny. So, given that he mentioned that the AFI's 100 years, 100 songs, and number two is the Casablanca song, A Time Goes By, what would you say is number one? Got legs. <laughs> I don't think it was ever in a movie, was it? Oh. These are, these, are, these, are, these are songs that have been in movies, yo. Oh, sorry. The top Ameri 100 songs in American cinema. Oh, that's your target. Um, bye Bye Birdie. Uh, bye Birdie. Yes. Oh, is that a movie? I know. I don't it see it. It was in Bye Bye Birdie. I don't see it here. Okay. Um... What else could it be? Can get a hint? I don't really know. I mean, I figured you would know this, but... Oh. It came in a movie in 1939. Oh, um... Follow the Yellow Brick Road. <laughs> Right movie, wrong song. Yeah, what other and that was good. You actually knew that it came out in '39. That was that was one of the most phenomenal years, I think, in cinema. So it must have been "Over the Rainbow." Don't sing it. I like that song. Okay. Number three, 1952. 
Whoa! Which it was number three, it's third song. Uh, sorry, I'm getting a bunch of messages from my clan. Oh. Kree has gotten kick has been kicked kicked from Doomsday Brigade. He's one of the heavy hitters. Look what he did, they got him kicked out. Oh. He used to be the, the boss of it. Singing in the rain. Number four is Moon River. Number five. Oops, crud. Number five is White Christmas. Do, 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 yeah, White Christmas is. That's number six. I, I, you know, I never really cared for that. I mean, it's okay, but... That's number seven. Where you were, number eight. Dana Live. Number nine. Number ten is... The hills are alive. Oh. The sound of music. Sometimes I wish you would not do that. Irritating? No, sing at such high pitches it ruins things. Oh, people are being kicked from the group by Kree. Okay, that makes more sense. Is he cleaning house, so to speak? Yeah. And since it's not registering names, oop, there's a name. Some of these people just don't exist anymore. Yeah, we supply wood. Two of them now. Throw it. And probably. Probably one of my guys is going to get kicked out, too. I've got a couple in this group. Number 11. And it got away. What? I don't know that one. Wow. Number 12. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Really? I like the song. I never thought it was that good. 13 is People. Funny girl from Fire Streisand. Yeah. Uh, uh, 14, My Heart Will Go On. Titanic. Oh my gosh. Really? I think it's a, well, it's a hate or love song, you know? Hate it or love it, you know? Hmm. 15 is Cheek to Cheek. As in dancing cheek to cheek? Yep. That's a classic song. I like that song. Uh, 16 is Evergreen, the love theme song from A Star Is Born. Gosh, I don't know song. I heard it. I thought you it. 17, I could have danced all night. I could have oh. danced all night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop that. Funny thing is, it says performer. It says... Jimmy Bryant, oh, I'm uh, sorry, uh, Mamie, Marnie Nixon, dubbing for Audrey Hepburn. Audrey, yeah. gets the, Audrey gets the credit for being in the movie, but this, the music, this, the song, the songstress is Marnie Nixon, who did actually dub other folks too, you know? Well, uh, she sang well. She dubbed Nally Boy, Wood did she look bad. What's her story? I never, what? Oh. <laughs> 
So, 18 is Cabaret. 19 uh, is Someday My Prince Will Come. Someday My Prince Will Come? Yep. Number 20 is Somewhere. A lot of the song. So, Over the Rainbow? Place for us. A time and place for us. Hold my hand and we're halfway there. Nice. It's kind of a sad, sad movie in some respects, you know. I'm at 81. And accelerating. I am 132. Okay, number 100. We've got the top is Old Time Rock and Roll from Risky Business. I said, that's why you went to say. I. It wasn't originally written as a song for a movie, okay? It's definitely be a song that was so classically sung by um, a very young uh, Tom Cruise, you know? Mm -hmm. Risky Business? Yeah. I don't think he actually sang it. I think yeah. he just danced to it. Oh, yeah, he just danced to it because Bob Seger's credit for you. Ooh. Crosby Hope, Road to Morocco, or Off on the Road to Morocco is in the top 100. That is a fine song. Yeah. Muppet Movie, Rainbow Connection. Oh, that's a good song. What we got here? What else we got here? We got Jihad you know Rocks, Everybody's Talking, Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head, Oh My River, High Noon, Oh Don't Forsake Me, Oh My Darling, On This Our Wedding Day. Extra credit points. Who who sang that song? It wasn't Tom Cruise. I don't know, you know. He had a famous son too. Oh. Ronald actor. Reagan. He was an actor. Ronald Reagan. No. Anyways, uh, it was sung by Tex Ritter. His son is John Ritter. Well, yes, I know that. The trolley song? Unchained Melody. Summoned into the evening. Born to be wild. <laughs> really? From Easy Rider. Born to be wild. Tell me weather. From Tell me weather. I think from New York, New York. I got rhythm. Aquarius. This is the age of Aquarius. Oh. What happened? I'm done. I'm good. Wait a minute, but I didn't kill anything. You got my final one for me. I guess we're close enough. Oh, we are getting credit for each other. Guys. Let's just down. Don't don't kiss the thing. Get, come near me. Sorry. Follow me, man. Let me kill these guys. Okay, don't do anything. Okay, just. Oh, too late. <sighs> you gotta say that before I start okay, come, pulling my bow. Come, come near me. Okay, coming near you. Don't see what happens. See what number you have now? I am at. Uh, 107. There you go. Let's see what happens. Now you're at. I'm at 108. And, okay, so it does. Within a certain distance, we get credit for each other, you know? Well, probably if we're inside the blue circle of death. I think it's to being close together. Exclamation point. I forgot to pick up. You care for those three? I believe so. Yep. So I just went to 15 without killing one of the targets I'm fighting at the moment. 
And now I'm at 18. Oh, that was that guy. Try one. We got here Days of Winding Roses, Swinging on a Star, Thing from Shaft, Fight the Power, New York, New York, Look at Be a Lady, The Way You Look Tonight, Wing Beneath My Wings, Wing Beneath My Wings, oh, Beaches. That's... You are the wings, baby. So I'm here 14 more. When are they going to start respawning? Oh, I know where to go. It's like I'm not targeting. Dollies, you know that? I think we're too far away for the dollies. I think the dollies are hiding. Rock around the clock. Blackboard jungle. Whoa. Fame, summertime, goldfinger. Shall we dance? That's for the king and I. Yep, that's a good one too. Flash dance, thank heaven for little girls, the windmills of your mind. I'm gonna fly oh. now, tonight. When we lost the Seahawks, what came to mind was a uh, Rocky one. Mm. Oh, Rocky two, actually, I think it was, right? Should be Rocky. The one with uh, Mr. T in it. Well, the one with. Well, Which would be Creed. Rocky Three, I think. Well, Apollo Creed was like, you know, um, okay, I'll help you out, but just what you gotta do for me, right? He says, you yep. know, a bit of a comment says, as an intelligent, as a man of intelligence, you know, like you winning by one knockout, or that was like, just does not sit with me, okay? You know, he won a rematch, you know. Yep. Because it was so close, they were both on the freaking ground, okay? So that's what that's what got me when I thought when the Seahawks lost, you know. But it was so close, you know. They but, didn't make it. Uh, you got enough now? Yeah, you're done. Hey, I'm done. All right, so let's let's follow the. Oh, what's that? It's a return. Yeah, the return to sender. Let's go over here and stay. What's this? Unfriendly fire. Oh, let's do this one instead. Let's go over here first. Do this one. Since we're kind of almost there. Uh, Not really quite closer to the question mark at all. Good morning. Isn't it romantic? Rainbow connection. Up where you belong. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Shadow of, of your smile. Nine to five. Arthur's theme. Springtime for Hitler. <laughs> ah! 
That is a classic. For Hitler and Germany. <laughs> that is, yeah, it is a classic. Oh my gosh. Ding dong, which is dead. I'm easy, the rose. Put the blame on me, on Mame. What? Yeah, Mame. Gilda. Oh, the pressure point. I'm gonna get this one. What is that? Who's this guy? What's this? There you go. Where is he? Crud, I don't. Who the heck are you? Looking for an expression point. He's there right he back is. here where I was. There he is. I fear thee in the days. Oh, it's a number two. Okay, that's good. Right. Let's go finish this over here first. We must collect a distum crest. Huh. Oh, it's a freaking cemetery again. Yeah, well, you're off to end the cemetery. Hey, this is the one with the fire. Fire! Pictures. Did you know you can say 15, 15 minutes? Did you know that O'Donnell's a terrible speller? Cow. C O W E I E I O. Er, Dag, not it. Sadist. I got one crest. Yay! Look at now enter the crypt. Into the crypt. Which crypt is it? It's. It's. One that's on fire. Oh. Teleport, hidden crypt. Here we go. Teleport. Not going anywhere. Oh, this guy's tough me as why. He sees me! I was never invisible. I cried. I'm still in a fight, so. Die. Go over the wall. Over the wall! Oof. There you go. Over the wall. I'm invisible. Good. He left oh, me. Oh, gosh. He didn't leave me. He's still chasing me. There you go. I'm healing up. Now I'm going to go back to this guy. Now I kill him. I'm gonna backstab him, little, little punk. Oh, I didn't work. Now I'm gonna die again. Run away! Run away! Run away! Run, 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 run. Alright, why did okay. you backstab him? Because some guys you just can't backstab. Oh well, here we go. So. Going in a crypt. Can't. That's right. right. Because I can. Here's the fire. Uh, I can't. I can target it, but I can't kill it. Right. What must do then? Can't kill the fire. Nope. Hmm. Call the henchman too. What can I do that would... Let's try this. Nope. Well, let's see here. I close. Nope. Shield. Nope. That's uh, just me flying. Well, let's try doing this. Now we come over here and we activate it. Uh, 
And now I go in. Sorry, people behind you. I just tried to rescue you. Oh, well. There's a fire still there. I put it out for me. Uh. So, that medallion you picked up? Yep. Oh. Stick it down yeah, in your... Yeah, that's an idea. I think of that. Oops, crap. So activate it, and everything is cool. Of course it makes sense. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Medallion. Put it in... Oops. The only devices that can go there. Oops, oh crud. That guy's back in. Backstab him. There you go. Now what? How about just use this? Put it in the slot, right? Put it in a slot. No, I can't put it there. Hit me where? Hit me on my... Get close to the fire. What slot? But not in it. Activate it. I can't put it in my C slot. In your C slot? Why not? It went in my C slot. That slide. I'll go in. Only devices can go there, it says. Did you grab the correct thing? I just um, found the crest. It says it's mine, it says it's a device, and that it's bound to me. It's mission item, not bound. It doesn't say it's a device. It's an add this dumb family crest, right? Yeah. Mine doesn't say it's a device. Huh. It's a mission item, it says, but... Okay, well, I'll come out. Why can't okay. I use it? I don't know. It's not registering as a device. Interesting. Well, let's see here what happens. Okay, I'm in front of it. And now, watch me closely. I am. I just raise my arm. Do I have something in my hand? You're acting. Go oh, again. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Backstab is too. Actually, I'm gonna front stab him. So it doesn't make a difference. At least no. behind the guy, you know. Only if you get the uh, special ability to do more damage when flanking. Thank you. Get this guy. Heathens. Yeah, they kind of piss me off, those little heathen things. They're invisible? Yeah, it just. Good. It takes a little bit of time to go invisible. <clears throat> just can't turn it off and on like at will, you know? That's a shame. <laughs> Which way next? I'll go down one of the tunnels. Oh, look. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I thought no one would ever stream CO. I've been playing it for years. I love this game. If you guys stream more, maybe I could join you. And I play Champions Online a lot. Or maybe stream more guys and I will watch. Oh, someone's uh, watching our uh, stream. I just realized Whoa. that. Sorry. Sorry, XY Den. Zyden. You know, we uh, we don't find a lot of people watching us. And so I don't always check the chat log. So my apologies, you know. 
Yep, if you're still watching, he is always regretting that we're not being watched. Good combo. Well, my friend Norman here thinks this is the best game ever, okay? It is. So... Me, I don't have the same, same, um... Spots. It's a nice game. And you're wrong. It. I just find the game okay. more so... Yeah, generally we uh, stream every Tuesday from 9 to 10 um, West Coast time. Yep, game time. Well, no, I think every, isn't it? Game time is different. Everybody's different time in the box. I don't think so. Because yeah. people keep posting things saying, meet you at such and such at, you know, 5 o'clock p.m. game time. Which would be pretty bad to meet somebody if they keep changing the time. Oh, you got it right before me. Come on, girl, get up. So... There's one hostage freed. Take hostages to the exits. What? Got to lead oh. to the exits? Oh, yep. wow. That's an escort quest. Wonderful. Hello to her. Hello. Okay, check over here. There's a girl over here. Hello. And let's see if there's any others lying around here. Should have th three. Oh, Should be him. one in here. Oh, and there's a bad guy. Killing him. Next tab. Oh, okay. Okay. A crypt I didn't key. Know. Okay, something's up here. So as I didn't wrote, hey, I'm always on, maybe every day. So if I see you guys around, I will PM you. And in and I'm Slate, a member of the guild called Spectre. If you know me. I agree nope. with your friend, too. It's a great game. I love it. Hey. <laughs> the man has taste. So where the hell should you go? Are you following us, too? Well, our... No, oh, crud. I can't. Yeah. No. I hope we haven't lost our hostages. Here, are these the ones? Yep, those are our four. I'll lead them to the exit now. Yep. I'm gonna turn the fire off. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, it wouldn't turn off at first. You do know you have to kill the guys to let them escort. There you go. Oh, I see. Wait, sorry. So this is the exit here, right? So yep. Looking? First four out of ten. Yay! Yep. Go, leave. They're all in single file. Perfectly single file. Where are you going? They're going down that. We gotta get them to the door. Pretty clean all the way through. Yeah, don't count on it. Sometimes people show up. Jeez, they're all just single file. Well, it's the <laughs> oh, safest oh, way to get oh, somewhere. Get out of the way! They went around me. 
That's funny. Okay. So now they start fading out. Okay. We've successfully gotten four out. All right. Yeah, so Norman pretty much only plays Champions Online. Iron Hand play other games like Final Fantasy XIV. I was playing Elder Scrolls Online. I'm also playing Dragon Age Inquisition. Have I finished it yet? Because we're also wait, waiting for the City of Titans to come out. A good yes, we are. Successor to this. Oh, sorry. Successor to City of Heroes. My son loves City of Heroes. Will not play this game. It just isn't the same. He said, just not yep. the same. That's because he's foolish. All right, we'll see you later. He's got school. I'm off for now, guys. I have school. If I didn't, I'd stay longer and watch. But. Have fun, enjoy the missions, and hopefully see you around in the game. All right, thanks, I didn't. Yeah. Okay. So his his character name is Slate, in the guild called Spectre. Oh, I have seen Spectres. Okay. I'm gonna interact with this hostage. Wait for us at the door. Did you interact with this one over here? No. Oh, no. You kind of talk to the hostages. They don't yeah. know they're saved until you interact with them. Oh, by the way, you had turned visible when you before you yeah, stabbed. Was <laughs> With two lasers, went for it. Yeah. And when you uh, tried the backstab... When you're visible, it's like one of the weakest weapons ever. There's three. There's four in this room, right? There wasn't the other one. Well, then again, if you're going to have ten, four, three, and three works out nicely. You know, well, they're running off. Yep. Yeah. Hey, there they go. Stay with them. Up oh, there's the fire. Come back I, I, here. I got through before they came through. Yeah, that's why I'm fighting alone. I'm helping you out. Okay. Oh, oh over there. Jeez. We have a range attack, you know. get through, okay? You can't just keep waiting for respawning, you know? Okay. Here we go. There's our doors now open. Let's fight these bad guys. Okay. Now our girl should come out. Should unless oh, must be somebody behind them. Fuck yeah, there is. With that, we are going to end the broadcast tonight. So thanks for joining us. Um, she said, any questions, comments, thoughts, concerns, whatever you want to talk about, post it in the comments below. We'll get back to you. And uh, if any prayer requests, anything you guys want to talk about or pray for you, then let us know. And um, hope you have a good day and a good week. And God bless you. And see you next time.